So we're at Peter Canning's house. He's um, been participating in the Berlin Better Buildings program. And uh, part of that program is the uh, Berlin Model Neighborhood program where homeowners have an opportunity to get heavily subsidized pellet boiler boilers installed. And Peter, can you tell us where are the pellets going to come in? Because this is a, um, the deliveries are made from outside the building. Where are the pellets going to come in the, into the hopper? Yep, the pellets come in right at the end of the hopper. They come in through this feed pipe right here. They pull off the cap, they bring the hose in, and they just hook it right up here and they fill it right up. Okay. And it takes three and a half to four tons of pellets to fill it. Okay, and, and um, so we were just talking about the fact that this has a shaker piece on it that the shorter hoppers have to have. Can you tell me what that's for? Yeah, basically um, you need such a pitch, a diagonal of a pitch, to make sure that the pellets all run down to the bottom of the hopper properly. And because the ceiling's so low, this actually needs an additional vibration plate on it to make sure that the pellets all drop down as they should. <coughs> If you've got a um, seven foot tall basement, you won't have this problem, but a lot of the basements that are six foot tall and being up here in Berlin, they have to have that additional vibrating hopper on it. So this is an additional cost too, isn't it, Peter? Yes, yeah, it was an additional cost. Um, so um, what, what components do you have for your system? Um, well, we have, basically it's the uh, 20 kilowatt pellet boiler. That's the main part of the system. And this is the smallest low hopper that they have for a low basement height ceiling. And those are really all the new components I need on this installation because the, the Puderis wasn't put in all that long ago. So it's in pretty good shape. So it's just basically a swap over of the boiler. And sometimes they're recommending a, a different water heater, yeah. but your Baderas water heater is uh, is just fine, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so that saved me in money also. So you actually had paid the least for your system because yes. you they were able to come in. Um, most of the components were matching quite well. So right. so uh, you actually paid the least out of anybody in this cohort one. Right. Yeah. Yep, it went very well. It's looking like it's going great. Yep, so it's going very well, and uh, every day it's getting better. I mean, That's it's just uh, it's just a great operation. That's great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I wanted to ask another question. So how often do you think you're going to have to have the pellets delivered, Peter? Well, um, three and a half tons. I'll probably have to get maybe three deliveries a year. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. And the prices are being held to uh, approximately a dollar ninety-nine gallon of oil yeah, price. Yeah, comes to about two fifty a ton. Okay. Of okay. And as oil goes up, your 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 price is being held until the end of 2014. So at least until then, there won't be any rise in pellet price, and they don't they don't imagine it's going to be a very volatile way to no, fuel. I, I don't anticipate any problems as far as. Um, aircraft going into different parts of the world to make sure the oil keeps flowing or any of those problems that we have now. So right. I think it'll work well with the pellets. And plus, uh, from what I understand, it makes your basement smell, smell well, too. So. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Well, we appreciate your sharing your experience with us, Peter. Oh, sure. Love to. Thanks.